Hi, I'm Fernando Escobar, and today I'm going to show you some cool photo tips on photographing cars and getting shots like these. From amateurs to pros, you can learn a little something on every photo shoot. When taking photos, it's a matter of exploring and thinking about the subject and feeling what you're capturing with the mood, just feel it and get it. The Fisher Lite is the ultimate extra large softbox solution. Its size ranges from 17 feet by 52 feet and 100 watts of power. It can be used in studio and location. Today I'm going to show you a few techniques on photographing cars in studio. Of course there's various ways of shooting vehicles and I'm just going to show you a few of the most popular and quickest ways to get it captured. But the bottom line is to please your client, to give them the look they want and the needs they want. Short interviews with Dennis Holloway from Mother's Wax and creative directors from the Eris Group in Cleveland who handle large accounts like Yokohama, Mako and American Racing. I'll be starting from the digital level, shooting some film, but you can make the stretch. For car photo shoots, here are some quick tips. Bring a complete toolkit of wrenches, scissors, ropes, and lots of extra tape, backup cameras, extra hard drives, DVDs, and CDs, everything you do to back yourself up. After you have placed the vehicle in the proper spot, take the time to remove or replace customizable parts on the car. For instance, my client wants this Lotus to have a sportier look, so we elect to remove the convertible top and change the rims and tires on the vehicle. I'm now having my assistant replace a personal license plate on the vehicle with promo plates. Transferring plates gives the vehicle a customized look, reduces distractions in photographs, and helps provide advertisement for my client as well. Never photograph a dirty car. Get a soft cloth and wipe it all around the vehicle. Then have a few people inspect the automobile to ensure the car is spotless. Afterwards, make sure to clean the rims and the tires. Keep in mind that any dirt or debris on the tread of the tires may show up in photographs. Be sure and concentrate not only on the tire wall, but on the tread on the tires as well.